So, okay, so what tips can I give you uh, when it comes to Venn diagrams? Well, there's a few here. Uh, first of all, read, okay? Be very careful. The number of people that don't read and don't interpret Venn diagrams accurately is quite surprising in my opinion. And I think that's got something to do with perhaps rushing and um, perhaps even not understanding Venn diagrams properly. So it might be a visit down memory lane, look up your, um, you know, GCSE level textbooks and, you know, things you did at school about Venn diagrams, because I appreciate um, it's not something uh, you'd remember. Uh, it's not day to day um, statistics or anything that you might come across. So people can forget. And so, especially those of you who don't do maths um, at A level or equivalent, um, then you might forget um, Venn diagrams and similar statistical analyses, which um, um, aren't as easy to remember, I suppose. Um, so maybe a bit of revision beforehand, understand how do you actually interpret Venn diagrams, that might help, okay? And it's important to read um, the text very carefully, okay, because that then helps you to uh, mentally or even physically um, picture what that Venn diagram is going to look like, okay? So when they say, you know, A is not B, it means A is mutually exclusive to B, all right? And so the two circles won't cross, right? So think about that. So um, if it says it's A or B, then again, it's saying it's mutually exclusive. It can't be A and B, and at the same time, you can satisfy the condition A or B. You just can't. So be careful that you don't fall into kind of traps, which um, I don't know. I, I feel people, perhaps it's rush. Perhaps um, it's because uh, people get, um, I don't know, uh, nervous, perhaps, uh, time pressure and so forth. Um, but they do, believe me, they do end up interpreting things wrong. So do kind of practice um, this um, a, a lot at home and, and you will get better, I can promise you. Um, and they may not, the Venn diagram itself may not have a legend, okay? It may contain lots of useless information as well. And so it's like a needle in a haystack situation. So you're actually having to derive the information or the um, things you want out of the, uh, you know, the text or the graphic um, to answer the question. So be wary of red herrings, be wary of useless information as well, okay? Use, use the tools in front of you, use that whiteboard, use to draw diagrams, okay? You don't have to, I'm not, I'm not saying, look, the, the aim here is to get the answer right, okay? So I don't need a beautiful Venn diagram from you, I don't need a beautiful, you know, circles and whatnot, you don't have to, so you're not, you're not in an art competition here. So, um, you know, don't fall into that trap of beautiful Venn diagrams. You just want to answer. So do what you need to do to answer that question. Try and be quick and try and be slick. And last but not least, um, again, I, I say this all the time. Practice, practice, practice. Um, there's no substitute. The more you do, believe me, the quicker you get at these things, the quicker you can interpret, the quicker you can see relationships, the quicker um, you can actually um, you know, see um, the true relationships and get answers right. Hope it helps. Thanks.